Okay, look at that. We're halfway there. More than halfway there. Florida water, toilet water. That's a joke, right? Wow, these are all burned movies, bootleg movies. Look at them all. Holy smokes. Nice hat with a lot of pins on it. 1989 right there. Naughty and proud. That's hilarious. I want to see what's in this box right here. I hope it's a silver set. Well, that's a jewelry box, guys. Right? Ooh. Okay. That could be a jewelry box right there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> the jewelry boxes. I see some jewelry there. Oh, 14 karat ladies fashion ring. Oh, come on. I think it's in there. Holy cannoli. We're just hitting some good gold now. This one. This looks interesting. Holy smokes, we're hitting the stinking gold jackpot here. Last time on Locker Nuts, I had very little expectations when I spent $160 online to buy this manager's special unit. But when I showed up, I found most of the facility deserted, except for ours, and that kicked off this adventure in an interesting way. So far, this unit has been really clean with nice quality items. There's some real surprises popping up, and we still have a bunch of boxes left to go through. So let's see what other treasures we find. Crock, pot. Coffee pot, we find all kinds of pot and lockers. Guest bathroom, deep fryer, deep fryer. They keep the deep fryer in the guest bathroom, huh? What in the heck? I don't think this is the co coffee pot. Ice bag. Ooh, you know what, guys? I think we need an ice bag. <laughs> we do need an ice bag. <laughs> Jana's gonna kill me. I'm keeping so much stuff. I'll keep stuff from clean lockers. Dirty lockers? Uh -uh. I'm not sure what that's for. Oh man, oh, man it's cracked right there. Was me. There's a little candle snuffer, a little brass candle snuffer. It's kind of funny because uh, we just sold a couple of these in our auction within a big brass lot not too long ago. Oh, this is this is good, guys. I like these little plastic drawers. And the reason I like them is because I found jewelry in them. And I've said this, I've said this a lot of times. And I haven't found any jewelry for a while, but I'll keep saying it because it is true. I did find jewelry in those. Um, there's a bunch of band-aids and first aid stuff here. You know, sporn to go. Alright. That's some kind of a knee brace or something. That's a nice one. What the heck? That's a really nice one. This kind of stuff. That won't sell. This stuff, I don't know if it will or won't. I'll let it go. Wait, that won't. That's gross. All right, to the market. This one right here, though, that probably will sell. I think that's kind of an expensive one. Masks. Cold packs. There's another cold pack right there. Looks brand new. That's kind of nice. And gauze pads. Stolen from De La Rosa? What? <laughs> Weird. There's the little candle holder. The body shop. Okay, let's get out of this. Oh, bummer. I thought that was a terracotta. It's plastic. That's not 10 bucks. That's a couple bucks. Okay. Gardening stuff. Decent ladder here. Keller ladders, huh? Wood ladder. I think that's 10 bucks. Okay, master bathroom, another chance. For some jewelry. Garbage bags. Nope, 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 nope. Body wash. Vinyl gloves, I don't like vinyl gloves. I would probably keep those to use in lockers, but I got better stuff than that. What's this? I don't know, some kind of products. I don't know, guys. This one, not impressive. This one's gonna go straight to the market. Kitchen, crock pot, George Foreman, okay. That I think is the George Foreman right here. Maybe. There's the wine rack. 
Whoa. That's a nice looking crock pot right there. Hampton Beach or Hamilton Beach. That's a nice one. Okay. Kitchen set of four digits. Let's see what the set looks like. Hmm, those are nice. Rona. The crystals. Well, those are cool too. Well, if there's plates in here, they're at the bottom because these are all glasses. That's pretty. All right, you know what? We're going to have to go through this. There might be some nice stuff. I, maybe plates at the bottom. This is nice stuff. I'm not doing that right now. I'll take this to the better flea market because I may have mentioned it earlier, but I'm a little bit light on stuff this time. My mom's going with me, so she's she likes opening all that stuff up, seeing what we find. It's kind of exciting, too, to do it for the first time. Okay, look at that. We're halfway there. More than halfway there. More than half. Okay, this one says spare bathroom. Wow, it's a lot of stuff for a spare bathroom. A vino. Hmm. Hydrogen peroxide, that stuff sells. There's a clock. I need a clock for our church. The clock stopped working there. Uh, that one, I think I'm gonna take that home. Toilet water, what the heck is that? Is that a joke? Murray in Landman, Florida water, toilet water. That's a joke, right? <laughs> Wait. Maybe you pour that in the back of your toilet? Make it smell better? I don't know. Never found that before. What is this? Nail polish? Okay. Okay, now this one. Living room. CDs and DVDs. I'm a little more excited about this. This is stuff we could put in our live auction. I mean, it sounds like stuff we could put in our stop talking because it's not that cassettes. Hmm. This is not as advertised right here. Alright, there's a little bit of cassettes here. Okay, maybe the better stuff's underneath. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Yes. Okay. Just getting all this miscellaneous stuff out. What's that? This burn stuff here. Bootleg. But we do have some DVDs here. Kama Sutra Love Play. What the heck? This lady was like a old lady, wasn't she? <laughs> oh. That's some freaky stuff. Frick guy. Some Pilates stuff here. Yoga balls. This is the good stuff right here. Twilight. Avatar, Blindside, that's brand new. Transformers, Harry Potter, this good. Sorcerer's Apprentice, brand new. Karate Kid, brand new. Yeah. Okay. It's good stuff. It's quite a few brand new seals. Let's see X Men Wolverine, Underworld, Transformers, Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, what's all this then? Wow. These are all burned movies, bootleg movies. Look at them all. Holy smokes. There's tons of them. All right, let's go in the Stockton. The Pilates stuff, I don't think that goes anywhere. That goes Stockton. Two more brand new ones. Sword in the Stone and Bucket List. That's good. Yeah, this one says Kitchen Dishes. Wait, did I get mixed up? Maybe the, the one with the glasses said Kitchen Glasses. And in my head, I thought it was open this one. That could be. It's a nice aluminum uh, water bottle. California Beautiful Cookbook. Big old coffee table book right there. Yeah, it's nice. Nice teapot. Oh, crate and barrel. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. That's definitely better. The big platter right there is by Veranda. Oh, by Princess House. Nice. And I have a feeling. Oh, yeah, these are nice too. See that? Home collection. I think that's Target, but still they're nice. All right. I think this stuff's going to go to the nicer market at least once. What are those for? Corner guard for your house. That's cool. Hmm. Surface products. Let's put on top of your counter. Like a cutting board. That's yes, nice. Flats. Home closet. Oh, hats. Okay. <laughs> ah, it's too bad the box got crushed because in turn the hats got crushed. Yeah, that's a nice one right here. Peter Grimm. I think they can be reshaped. You steam them or something. That's a nice one. Huh. Oh. Wait a second. Is that an apron or something? 
Nurse protector. Oh, that's pretty. What is that? I think it's something custom made for like a tablet or something. I don't know. There's a cleaning cards for SD. This thing's like, that's a custom made piece, I think. I don't know. In our, in our last Dienza uh, flea market video, we're selling hats for five bucks a piece at the market. It was a hot day, a warm day. Not hot, but warm. Oh, that's nice. San Francisco Giants, nice little cap right there. Ooh, but this one, look at this. Nice hat with a lot of pins on it. 1989 right there. Drew Pearson, genuine merchandise. That's a good hat. Dragon Boat Team, AT&T. Look at this embroidered. This nice bag. Okay. Cool. Another nice bag right there. Canvas bag. Oahu, Kauai, Hawaii, Maui. Very nice. Alright, these will go to the better market right here. Okay, baking dishes, odds and ends, kitchen. <laughs> oh boy, it looks like more good stuff right here. Look at that. That looks brand new, kind of. Maybe. Yeah, a little. It's like a little crock pot or, or rice maker. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, Anchor Hawking, Fire King. I thought that was an old Pyrex, but that's still. That looks like a vintage piece right there. That could be something right here. Made in the USA, nine inch, oven proof. It's number four two nine. I think that's something good. A little Braun coffee grinder, electric potpourri pot. Yeah, there's some glass bowls there. The pans. Looks like they might be Pyrex. And more Pyrex, clear Pyrex. Okay, so that's good stuff. Okay, next box. I wonder how many times I say next box in a you know in each video. <laughs> Probably a lot. That's kind of neat right there. Candle warning. Okay, you put a candle in there. Oh yeah, right there. Okay, that's that's cool. Naughty and proud. That's hilarious. Five bucks each for those at Pier 1 Imports. Naughty is the new nice. Five bucks for that. That's pretty funny. Mikasa. Little glass bowl right there. I mean, dish right there. Serving dish. Oh, what's this? Uh-oh, guys. This is good. Pooh and Friends, Disney. That's very nice. Okay, that is cool. I like it. That's coming home with me. Okay, it's not as cute. Not as cute. <laughs> Just being honest. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. That's another one. Um. Mm -mm. Oh, that's Homco right there. That's decent. Dessert plates right there at the bottom in the box still. These ones, little angels. Where are they though? Oh, these are Onita. Okay. Let's take a look real quick. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Not bad. Not bad. Think I can get five bucks for that at the market? Price is scratched off. It is from Macy's. I don't know. I'll bring that to Danza. Okay, guys, we're in this back corner here. I want to see what's in this box right here. Oh, I could tell you what I hope it is. I hope it's a silver set. I seriously doubt it, but that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's take a look. Oh, it could be. I think it's silver plate. I've already seen enough. I think it's silver plate. Um, mm, you know, this could be silver. I don't know. It's got kind of, kind of a weird gold hue to it. What the heck is this? I don't know what this is. Really interesting. If that's silver, we got some money right here. I don't think it is, though. See, it's got the little tie insignia on there, too. It's pretty cool. And it still might be something a little special. The box looks cool. That's definitely going in the car. Okay. Look at this, guys. Shoes and purses. That's good. I, for some reason, I thought this might all be uh, kitchen. More dishes and such. Shoes and purses. Definitely better. Mostly... Oh, okay. Here we go. Kitchen food saver. Kitchen glasses. Okay. We definitely like purses. Kitchen dishes and glasses. Oh, there we go. Especially since the lady has some Dolce & Gabbana glasses. Maybe she got some Dolce & Gabbana purses. That'd be nice. Oh, that's nice. Look at this, you guys. Oh, that's a really nice little thermos. It's clean. Starbucks. It's got a cup built in. It's cool. Very cool. AT&T. 
<laughs> what is this? To to T letter O warmer. That's funny. Oh, there's some big old pint glasses for beer or something. Boy, they really pack this stuff well. Oh, got a little snow globe. Sylvestri, handcrafted, 1993. That's neat, right? There's a lot of other good stuff in here, but I don't really want to get unpacking this. I'll, I would literally will be here for way too many hours if I do that. So, we'll bring it to the better market. We're going to be out there all day, my mom and I. Plenty of time to unwrap and go through and explore, and of course we'll update. We'll be filming, so we'll update if we find anything. If you guys want to see if anything is in that box, tune into the next uh, De Anza flea market video. What's this one say? Food saver, okay. And that's what it is. It's a food saver right here. The last food saver I brought out to that market twice and did not sell it. This looks like another really nice one. Got a bunch of these. I'm too excited about this box. These food savers can be very expensive. V3440. Let's go ahead and look that up. I think I'm gonna bring that to the better market. Give it a shot. Cause I know in Stockton I'll get maybe five bucks for it. Okay, here it is. But unfortunately, look at this. The tape's been cut off on this one. I have a feeling these people may have come and gone through their stuff. Take it back. I don't I don't think they went through this stuff. A uh, couple of knockoff Uggs, Uggs right here. They look like they're kind of decent, though. Emu Ridge. I was thinking they went through their stuff, but I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, are these anything good? I don't think so. I'll bring the Stockton. This is a Stockton box right there, in case you guys didn't know. Now handbags and wallets and purses, that is stuff we put in our live auction. So that's what I really like to find. That's nothing. I don't think. It's, it might be leather. I don't know. That's kind of a cool purse, but it's got patina kind of wearing through right there. I don't like that. Buxton. It's older. Looking for something a little better right now. Genuine leather. This all looks decent, but... Another Buxton. Yep. Look for designer stuff here. I'm not sure what that says. It's nice leather. It's definitely vintage. It's older. Kenneth Cole or Gianni Bermini. I don't know which it is. I'd say it's probably Kenneth Cole. Yeah, it's Kenneth Cole. That's not bad. It's pretty worn though. What's this? Why'd they put it in the bag? Is it better? Is it special? I don't think it's supposed to open that way. <laughs> uh, whatever this is or was, oh, handmade in China. There's a partial reason why that's doing that. Um, yeah, that's garbage. Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't know why they put it in the plastic. Probably the plastic helped it deteriorate. Didn't protect it, obviously. That's a neat one. Nicorina or Nicolina. It's cool. It's got some dirt on the bottom, but it's a nice little canvas bag. What's this? Nine West. Got some threads wearing through right there. Yep. Wilson's leather. I'm not really thinking he's gonna have anything in it, but I should probably check. And this. Liz Claiborne. Okay. I'll still bring these home and show Gianna. I don't think she's gonna give much attention to any of these. I don't think these are really auction worthy. If we did sell these in our auction, it would be in a big lot. Like we'd sell many at once. That's a jewelry box, guys, right? Ooh, okay. Getting me a little excited here. Optimistic-like. Ooh, there's some scarves. Mmm, it's either scarves or what do you call it, a sarong? Things you wrap around you in Hawaii. Hawaii, maybe. Some uh, fingerless gloves, like that. That could be a jewelry box right there. I think it is. I think it is. There's a couple of scarfs there or something. Oh, yeah, listen. Look at this hat. USA Roots 2002. It's a little, is it a beret or something? Olympics, that's cool. Another nice hat. Look at the fringe on the bottom. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. This is, okay. This is like the most exciting moment be, for the last two videos at least, right? At least the last two videos. But there's some vintage undies, I think. 
How interesting. Some vintage socks or stockings. Stockings. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that probably sounds weird. I'm not saying like it's interesting when I find women's undies. But the vintage stuff does sell on eBay. Like, we have quite a bit in our store from that train locker. Not the recent train locker, but the one we bought right before COVID. Vintage underwear sells, guys. There's some big market for it, which is really weird. But it's really true. There's another either scarf or sarong. I'm thinking probably sarong. I might be wrong. <laughs> some kind of a shirt there. Brand new, so I'll bring it to the better market. Uh, mom. Okay. There's some little beads and stuff. This is for jewelry too. There's buttons, but also some beads for jewelry. Zipper poles. Most sewing, I think. Maybe those aren't for jewelry. Maybe I don't know. Sewing stuff though, it looks like. Just gonna put aside right. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's kind of neat. Handkerchiefs. What is that on their shell? I forget what type of shell that is. A little fortune. Mary Ann and Gordon, May 18th, 2002. Hmm. Oh, look at that, a Beanie, beanie Baby too. <laughs> this is a really interesting box. Okay. Keychain from Universal Studios. I'm not seeing the jewelry yet. Little rosaries. Cross, I don't know. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, there's pins. Coca-Cola Olympics, that's fantastic. It's not as good as jewelry, but... This is all sellable. Maxwell House, USA Olympics. Another Olympics, track and field. Volleyball team, Coca-Cola Olympics. Barcelona 92, Coca-Cola Olympics. So these are 30 year old pins. Gymnastics, whole bunch of Olympics pins. This is pretty good. This one's got some stuff too. Oh, more pins, okay. AT&T South. A lot of AT&T stuff here. Telephone Pioneers of America. Atlanta Council, right? Not as exciting as Olympics, but more pins. What's this? Oh, okay. Money clip with AT&T on it. A lot of AT&T swag here. And a little little Louisville Slugger, San Francisco Giants, probably a door prize or something. I don't know. That old jewelry box right here is pretty cool though. I think it's just a poncho. Oh, look at this collectible cards. Lion King, eight cards. This is funny because we a state that we bought had a whole bunch of that kind of stuff. 2002, San Francisco Giants versus the Reds. More, oh, more tickets here. Ticket stubs. Let's put those aside. Okay, who we got here? Who's the beanie baby? Oh. <laughs> that was, I think that's funny. Um, stripes, Stripes, 1995. Okay, I don't think that guy's worth anything. I don't think he's worth anything, but we'll take him home. Don't worry, Stripes. We won't abandon you. Dragon Boat Festival 2001. I'm not sure what Dragon Boat was. Okay. Now, this. Little light. Ah. Mm-mm. So just little bags and stuff. Okay, wait. They're brand new, though. Look at that. They're all connected still. Brand new. It says Celebrity. <laughs> I don't know. It's a nice little box. It's cool. Okay, guys, look at this jewelry box, etc. I was just about to say, like, okay, that last one was interesting, but then lost my interest really fast. But this one got another round, another round to redeem. Let's look for that redemption. Come on. Okay, I'm not gonna touch that shirt because my hands are starting to get kind of dirty. But that is a uh, San Francisco Giants Civic Bell Park shirt from the year 2000 brand spanking new that's pretty good okay vintage shirt brand new that's gonna go to the market we'll get at least 10 bucks for that we might actually get a little bit more okay this is workout stuff oh must be followed exactly with three 10 pounds in three days a little diet plan there size queen pillowcase okay whoa that looks like a nice pillowcase see beads and fringe and all kinds of fancy stuff Big shirt, it says. I think that's a scarf, though. It's made. In, it says Hawaii. It's made in Indonesia. Made out of rayon. There's something nice. This this stuff I'm going to bring home and let Jana go through it. This could be auction worthy. We could take all that stuff out of plastic and sell it in the auction. It looks like scarves and fancy stuff. Okay, and there's the jewelry boxes. I see some jewelry there. 
Okay, this one's not going to be a bust. There's going to be some jewelry here. <laughs> Come on. Okay, some handkerchiefs. This one's got some rattle. What do we got? Come on. Come on, make daddy happy. Oh, whoa. Okay. I don't think this is gold. Goes to show what I know. I think it does gold. I don't know. I think it says 10k. Hang on, guys. Don't have a loop, but we can always try this. I see 10k. That could be a 10k ring. Oh, it's pretty dope if it is. Hmm. Wait, what does this say? Men's 10k gold ring. What the heck? For 25 years with AT&T. Ooh, guys. That appears to be a 10 karat ring. If it is, this is heavy. That's a, that's a quite a few grams right there. We'll bring it home and weigh it, but that is, uh, that's pretty nice. That's from AT&T for 25 years of service. Best thing we found so far in this locker. All right, no, no joke, best thing so far. That's good by any measure. That's a good thing to find. <laughs> this locker's getting hecka better. Genuine alabaster made in Italy for Lefton. Oh, that's nice. Okay, more pins. It looks like, oh, Hard Rock, Cancun. I haven't found any Hard Rocks in a while. The button, at and I think that's a Disney. No, Warner Brothers, that's right. It's Pepe Le Pew, right? Walt Disney Studios, there's a Disney. There's another Hard Rock, Honolulu, great. San Francisco 49ers. Coca-Cola. This is good stuff. This is collectible stuff for sure. There's another Warner Brothers. The Wilder one. There's an Epcot Center. Mickey Mouse. Disney. San Francisco Giants. Sports. This is great. USA. Little bird. Possible gold. There's uh, Pepe Le Pew right there. That's neat. There's Bugs Bunny. Those are cool. They're pewter or something. Little Angel. Possible gold. Another Olympics. And Minnie Mouse. Very nice. I'm digging the pins. I'm digging the pins for sure. Okay, another Beanie Baby? Nah. Gateway Country. That's funny. Okay. We a crystal. 24%. Oh, it's from Princess House. A little crystal. There's a little kitty cat pin. Another kitty cat. Oh my goodness. That's see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Very cute. And breast cancer awareness, very nice. Oh, this is fun. Only one piece of jewelry, and that's stinking heavy gold. The rest is pinned so far, but it's another AT&T pin right there. Olympics, it's good. Gateway. Burberry, Brit, red. It's a little perfume right there, Burberry perfume. Oh, that's nice, guys, that's full. Sweet. This locker definitely makes up for the last one. See, and what I said earlier, I was like, it's a numbers game. You just gotta keep buying, don't give up, keep going. Some more fingerless gloves, cheap handkerchiefs. Some little jewelry boxes here. I don't know what that is, that's pewter. It's not silver, not silver. That could be silver. That could be silver. We'll have to bring it home and test it. And look at it with the loop, see if we can find marks. Some of this might be silver, some of it's not silver. Bunch of earrings, okay? There's gonna be some silver in there. I can just feel it. There's a nice handkerchief. Oh, oh, look at all these boxes. This one though. Oh, at t come on, gold ring, wait. Do we want to look? Oh, 14 karat ladies fashion ring. Oh, come on. I think it's in there. Oh, oh, that's pretty. That looks like little sapphires, maybe. Fourteen carat. Yes. Oh, oh. All right. So this was a great little find, and I used my gem tester to confirm those are sapphires in there, guys. This is a beautiful ring, very little wear on it, just gorgeous. However, it is not 14K. The marks inside say 10K. So I guess it was just in the wrong box, but you know what? I'm not complaining. This is a very beautiful, very sellable 
piece. It's going to be worth a few bucks. We're going to get a total gold weight at the end of the video. Guess what? There's more to come. I feel vindicated. This no last locker sucks so bad. Janos tell me, don't buy it. And I'm like, it's got potential. It didn't. I mean, it did have potential, but it, it didn't pan out. Okay, all right. Cheat sheet pendant. I don't see any markings for gold, but let's find out. Oh, I don't know. That looks like gold. That's just 14 carat on it, guys. That's a 14 carat chain. I'm almost positive that's going to be a 14 carat pendant, too. Here's a closer look. It is definitely 14K. This is stinking gorgeous right here. Holy cannoli. We just hitting some good gold now. There's, this is good. We're gonna have to measure, uh, weigh all that gold, see how much weight we got, cause then we get an idea of how much potential value there is. So that's an empty box. There's blue, not Bulgari. Fragrance, yes, heck yeah. It's good. Okay, there's the other little. Wait a second. Made in Italy. Capo de Monte. Oh my goodness. Even the little jewelry box. Cool. Capo de Monte is good. And I don't know if that was in there before or not, but there's a little earring. This is potentially gold. I don't see a mark. Maybe not. Put it right there. Okay, what else we got? Glove. Oh, she went to Jared. <laughs> I get so excited about this stuff. Oh, there's the other earring to match that one. Hopefully those are gold. She went to Jared. What's this? That's got some potential. I don't see any markings on it. That is definitely potentially gold. Hmm. Potential. Hmm. Ooh. Got a bunch of stuff here. Okay, little earrings. Look at all this stuff. What is that for? Is that for a toe or is that for a little kid? Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I don't know, guys. There's a lot of stuff in here. Some silver potential here. But I don't see too much gold potential. Some white gold, maybe. Hmm. I'll have to bring it home and look at it through a loop. This definitely looks like silver right here. Okay, that's cool. More potential. I like the big rings though. Let's see if we can find some more big rings. There's some more perfume. Dream Angels, Heavenly. It's cheap stuff here. Okay, Casaris. What you got, Casaris? Oh, okay. It's, it's a watch. Some kind of fabric bracelet and a bunch of interchangeable bands there. Casaris, I don't think that's valuable, but we'll see. But this, what's this? Shalimar. <laughs> it's a case for your Shalimar perfume, perhaps. Okay, this one. This looks interesting. Oops, it's broken. Okay, it's a cheap box. Oh. What do we got? What do we got? Nothing. Timex. It's a nice looking Timex. Got a couple little pieces in here. Possibly some gold. What is this? That says 14 karat on it right here, this necklace. So this is 14 karat gold. I imagine that's probably some jade right there. That is a beautiful little piece right there. I definitely like that. That's my 14 karat. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. We're hitting the stinking gold jackpot here. I cannot believe they abandoned this thing. Not complaining. Not complaining. That could be gold. 49ers pin right there. That's pretty cool. A bunch of Super Bowl champion uh, dates there. Ooh, what's this? Uh, I don't see a mark. I have a feeling that's gold too. Some nice stones there. Oh my goodness, guys! This isn't. Yeah, this is. These are. These are probably not gold. Little kitty cats. A lot of cat stuff. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. Mirrors. Oh. Okay. That looks like a bunch of silver to me. Bunch of silver. We'll go through that later. 
little shell necklaces. Oh, well, it's one necklace. That is pretty. That's going to be probably some silver with some stones on it. And then this right here, probably another silver piece. Hmm, I think so. It's actually too small to read for me. Got to get my loop. Okay. Oh man, I'm taking a long time here at this facility. Oh, that's heavy. Just a little stainless steel bracelet right there. Francis. I don't think that's gold or anything. It's just another cheap piece right there. There's a little brooch. It was $18.95. Okay, some little crosses. Does not look like gold, so nothing to get excited about, but they're still cool. What's this? This is heavy, whatever it is. Okay. Bracelets. I don't think that's silver. That one. That's pretty. It's got some... Is that abalone in there? I believe that's our 925 right there. 925. That's a silver bracelet. Very small. It's a nice inlay right there. Ooh, that's some abalone right there. That is pretty. But I don't think that's silver. I don't know. And then this. That is very delicate. It's got some Asian writing. Is that Asian writing? I'm not sure. I think that's silver, but I think the clasp is broken, unfortunately. No, that's not silver. You see some green tarnishing. I think that's, that is broken right there. It's supposed to be a clip. And it broke. Hmm, bummer. Okay, but who cares? We found some good stuff in there. Good stuff. Can't believe the best stuff has been in these cardboard boxes. Interesting. Oh, oh. Missed something. <laughs> Missed it. Ooh, that's neat. Carved out of something. A few more pins in here. Missed those drawers. What we got here? Another brooch. A little bee or a butterfly or something. Nothing. Keys. This is nothing. Mm. See the green tarnishing in there? That's not gold. It might be gold plate, but whatever's in, whatever the base metal is, leading through with the tarnishing. It's nothing to be excited about. All right, cool. Didn't miss anything there, but what a great box this was. I mean, really, those three gold pieces alone, that is going to be, I think, a couple hundred bucks. We'll weigh it out later. That's going to be exciting. I'm going to do that right when I get home. Paperwork files, income taxes, blah, 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 blah. Nothing too exciting there. Isn't it so funny though that the best items come out so far wearing cardboard boxes when she has all these nice bins and stuff. Oh, this one's not too full. And it's Halloween stuff, which is good. Haunted Hollow figure candle. That's cool. The witch is in casting spells. The witch is out being wicked. Funny. Okay, we've got some shelves. I think they go in that glass CD cabinet. And then, what do we have here? Awesome. Oh, look at this. A crocheted blanket. Same with this one right here. I think those are hand crocheted, possibly. Got this really cool little kid's chair right here, but unfortunately it's split. It's not broken. It's just coming apart. It needs to be re-glued. You can see this pieces of wood all glued together, and that part's come apart. It's pretty common, I think, with these types of things. These are all popping out. Um... That could very well be an antique piece. It's definitely a vintage piece. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do with that. Bring it to the better market or what. It's kind of neat. What is this? Disc case. There's three of them. Are these 45 records? Yeah. <laughs> There's a dead millipede on top. That's gross. I almost grabbed it. I thought it was a washer. Oh my goodness. 45 records. Look at that. I've never seen those cases before. Super cool. Um, you know what? That's pretty awesome. De uh, the Def... Elf I almost said the Deftones. That's my generation. That's the Delphonics. Roberta Flack. Cut the Cake by AWB. Not familiar with that. Ron Banks and the Dramatics. I'm not sure, but what's kind of cool is it's got her name here, Frances, and she lived in San Francisco. She grew up on Mission Street, so some of those photos that we were looking at earlier, I think, uh, I, mean, I don't know if I'm put on the video or not, but there was photos in the photo albums that were definitely from the 60s and 70s looking. So she must have grown up in San Francisco. That's pretty cool. Delphonics again. Rufus. All right, this is all oldies stuff. Th that might sell at the market. We sell for like a dollar each. 
Don't go breaking my heart. I wouldn't if I tried. Um, England, Dan, and John Ford Coley. Gladys Knight and the Pips. Cool. I might bring these over to my mom and have her take dibs on it if she wants some of those. Let me leave them in here for now so they're not in my car. Get too hot. It's pretty cool in the trailer right here. That's neat. Okay, last one right here. Kitchen utensils. Okay, we'll look at that. I'll let you guys know if there's anything interesting. That shelf piece right there, that corner piece, that's probably a good 20 bucks. Mm. This one is really messy. There's some really nice chopsticks in here. I don't know if there's ever any value in chopsticks. Pampered Chef thermometer. What's that? Pampered Chef paring knife. Ooh, that's nice. Revere wear. Strainer. Uh, there's quite a few paring knives in here. Those are very sharp, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. This is a Pampered Chef piece right there. Uh, there's something in here I want to get out. Dang it. I'm going to have to get it all out. Okay, I got all the stuff out. This is all going to the market right there. This stuff's a little better right here. I found quite a few pieces of Pampered Chef. I think we'll do a lot of these in our auction. Like, we'll lot a bunch of this stuff up. Oh, maybe not this. I don't... It's too big. Oh, yeah, this, this should have gone away. Uh, but good thing I went in there, because look at this. This is a good knife right here. That's Germany. Wustoff. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a cleaver. It's got a pretty good edge on it. This is good. These are definitely sellable. This might be even an eBay piece. Probably 50 bucks for that. I might be wrong. That's a good blade. I'm always looking for knives. Um, there's something made in Japan right there. I don't know what that's for. But I'm sure it's something special. This is uh, pretty nice. It's Onita. It's a nice wine opener. Look at this thing right here. Chef N. Chefin. Chefin. Some sort of scissors, but it's like it either cuts out or cuts inward. I don't know what it's for. It's very peculiar. This is made in Italy right here. This is just a little... Wait, what is that? I'm trying to remember what that is. That was a wine opener, but... Like I said, chopsticks I put aside. I don't think these are worth anything, but those are definitely nice. It's a Pampered Chef. So, that's mine. This, I don't know what that is. Oh, but this is why I dug everything out right here. Look at that. It's brawn. It's a little hand mixer. These are great. They sell good. They get some value on eBay if you want to list it. I'll probably just bring it to the market, but... Um, a lot of this stuff I'm going to put in a big lot and put in our live auction. Yeah, this thing's kind of neat. Got a little supply cart there. It's cool. Ooh, what's this? I don't know. I see some stamps there. That's kind of interesting. I'm going to put that aside. Let me go through that. Huh. Stamps I like. Stamps I like. We found a bunch of stamps in that move to Hawaii locker. Oh, there's the stuff with the Dymo right there. Definitely got to put that aside. Oh, look at the little kitty. It's funny. There's a bunch of uh, supplies here. Oh, there's a couple more pins right there. AT&T pins. Nice. Temporary tattoo greeting card. That's kind of funny. All right, there's a little metal tag. Guardian Angel Pet Safe. What? I don't know what that's for. Oh, that's cool. Little Velcro stickers right there. There's some Sharpies. Take the Sharpies home. Portable speaker system. Oh, look at that. How funny. Okay. Greeting cards right here. Oh, that's from Hallmark. They're blank inside. Look at that. Five dollars brand new. Here's another one. That one's two fifty. But still. Cable flags. Ink pads. What's this? Keychains. Little locks. Oh, a bunch of little locks with keys. Okay. The rest of it can go to the market. Stockton. Getting close, guys. Getting close. Just a few more boxes to go through. More potential. Okay, there's all this paperwork here. And that's probably going to get dumped. Got a nice, really nice level right there, though. And chess and checkers. Woodfield collection. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's going to the nicer flea market. <laughs> It's amazing I have anything to go to the stock then, but I try to maximize our sales, right? Got to get our the most for our money. The boss. That's pretty nice. Hmm. Holy smokes, guys. What the heck? Ferrari store. Huh. How about that? What the heck? How does this lady have the money to go to the Ferrari store? What was she buying there? Don't think she was buying Ferraris. Maybe, though. 
Something from NASA here. 1986. Stuff from NASA right here. Wow. 1987. I don't know if there's any value in this stuff. There might be some collectors out there wanting this NASA stuff. I'll put it aside. We'll make up our mind later. Okay, curtain hangers. Uh, this looks like tools and parts and yeah. I'm thinking these. Those are good. All these commode stuff, 3M, good stuff. It's expensive too. I saw this stuff's gonna sell good in uh, Stockton. There's a nice lock right there. That's a cool key keychain right there. Mm -mm, might have to keep that keychain. I like it. Looks vintage. All right, that's cool. Okay, now this one. Hmm. Finally crafted European Christmas ornament here. It says eight dollars. Made in Poland. I don't know when they bought it though. Sold by Sears and Roebuck. Okay, so it is old. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna put that aside. Vintage Christmas ornaments do well. There's a whole bunch of fancy hooks for uh, ornaments right here. Okay, this is actually pretty good right here. This I think is go underneath the tree. Sports uh, ornaments there, San Francisco Giants. Avon gift collection, I think it's gonna be an ornament. Wait, Belvedere the Christmas reindeer ornament. There he is, he's white. Hmm. And I see some Coca-Cola stuff. Oh, there's some Hallmarks. Queen Amidala. That's cool. Star Wars. San Francisco 49ers. There's, oh, Steve Young. Nice. A couple more of the Belvedere uh, Avon ones. This is neat. Look at this. Coca-Cola. Oh, it's got a little fridge with the bear inside. <laughs> Polar Bear Collection. This is some better ornaments. I haven't found some better ornaments in a while. Party Light. Oh, that's made by Party Light? This one is, what do you call them, blown glass or something? Not, not blown glass, is it? I don't know. That's nice. Yeah, it is. Father Christmas. Glass ornament. Okay, I didn't know they made those. That could have a little bit of value. Some globes right there. That's not too impressive. Okay. A bunch of poinsettias. Look in there. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like an older one. Glass. Yeah, that's a decent little box right here. <laughs> Getting down to it. Here's the box that I was putting stuff into. So let's go through this guy right here. Wet ones. Damper it. Oh, that removes odor. I mean, uh, moisture. Moth away. Okay. Some more hooks. Yeah, all hooks. Actually, let me just empty it. Put this stuff right here. I might keep that in the car. Yeah, there's no sense to selling that stuff. So this right here, that's actually in really nice shape, but is that good enough to go to the vintage market? I mean, the not vintage market, the upscale market. Mm -hmm. Dianza, I don't really know. I haven't really sold much furniture out there. I think I'm just going to let it go at Stockton. Okay, then this. Yeah. It's all files. I mean, I don't know. It looks like it's all files. It's all files. All right, I'll go through this before I throw it away. The metal will probably scrap. Unless it sells. I don't think it will. Alright, we'll look through that. But otherwise, guys, that, that's it. That's it. Now I just gotta get everything in the trailer and secure it to where it won't fall over. I still might throw that the bed frame right there in there. We'll get five, ten bucks for that. Why not? I got one more locker to pick up tomorrow. And that was my most expensive one yet. 410 bucks, I think I spent on that. I think I'm pretty sure 410. Yeah, I didn't spend 420. I don't remember that number 420. It's a funny number. 410 I spent. I think the bid went right to 410. I bid 410. So if the guy went 420, he would have had it. Whoever was bidding against me, I wasn't going to bid more on it. I got it. I was like, eh, I'd already bought two. Then I got that one. I was like, oh, no, did I overdo it? But now I'm like kind of excited about it because it looks like it could be pretty decent. So I'm going to head over there tomorrow and unload that. I'm going to go load it into my trailer. I think there's plenty of room. It's a 5 by 10. So this was a 10 by 10, 8 by 10, I don't know, something like that, but I think it's an 8 by 10. A 5 by 10 should fit, but it's, it looks very full, mostly boxes. So my plan is just to load it, go back to my unit, and go through it there. We'll see. 
this was a good locker guys especially because we found some gold we found pins we found good stuff and i found a lot of stuff that i'm taking to dienza so that makes me happy because like i said i'm a little light on inventory for the next market even though it's like two or three weeks away i'm already planning for it so thanks you guys for watching 160 bucks invested. Um, usually there's a 10% storage auction fee on top of that. This time there's another 10% because I forgot my resale license. So I had to pay this thinking re uh, sales tax. So basically another 20% tacked onto that. I spent 192 on this locker. It's easy, easy return. We'll, we'll be making profit. I think one of those rings in scrap gold will be well over that, but um... here's what we got. This is our 10K gold, those three pieces. This is all 14. Of course, we also have the men's ring, 10 carat. We already weighed that. That was 18 and a half grams. Let's see how much this little bit of, and that's got the sapphires in it. So beautiful. That's probably a piece of jade or some sort of stone right there. How much we got right there? 7.1. So that puts us at about 25.6 grams. I'm going to show on the screen right there how much that is in scrap gold, 10 carat gold. This is the 14. That's a, that's a nice ring right there. Unfortunately, this little necklace right here doesn't have a clasp. I didn't realize that till later because it's in the box. The little pendant's nice. Just need a little new clasp though. Whoops, it's not staying on that little pad right there. Got too much gold for the scale. That's a good problem. Let's use this little tray. These little earrings right here are busted, broken, but it's 14 carats, so that's gonna go to our scrap guy. This piece won't go to our scrap guy, that jade. Now the jade's kind of heavy and that's gonna skew the weight, but you know what, we're just looking to scrap gold. So it's it's fine, it's fine. So there's 14 grams of 14 carat, 14 grams, 14 carat. So we'll put up here how much that is. So those two golds combined, the 10K and the 14K. Let me put on the screen here what we got total. I'd say that's a pretty good score. We're definitely going to be in the profit on this one. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I appreciate it. I had fun. I hope you had fun. It was better than the last one. And hopefully the next one will be better than this one. We'll find out together in the next episode. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time. Actually, you won't see me here next time. You won't see me here ever again because it'll look totally different if we buy here again. And we will. Yeah, say goodbye to this facility as it looks now. Take care, Locker Nuts. See you next time. Um, that's a pretty little piece, painted cabinet. Um, no, wait, back up. That's a, that's a jewelry box. Wait a second, that's a jewelry box, guys. I thought it was just a little cabinet, it's a jewelry box. Okay, I need to get that out right, right now. <laughs> that needs to go in my backseat.